G'day YouTube, 1MJ here and welcome back. Right, Friday morning here in Australia, market's down again, $2.32 trillion. So we got down to, I think, 2.3 was the lowest. So we're still going down again. And when I say lowest, I mean in the last kind of couple of weeks to sort of months, we've definitely been lower before. Uh, and I'm waiting to see if my sort of prediction about where the market's going to go is going to play out. At the moment, it's uh, somewhat sort of close, but not exact, and no one's ever going to get it exact anyway. But, yep, $2.3 trillion Bitcoin dominance, uh, pretty much just kind of holding steady. That hasn't really dropped too much below 39% and not really going above 40%. Bit of volume there, so people are getting in and sort of buying the dip, but not a lot. You know, people are still quite worried at the moment. You know, BTC price is now below 50,000 and well below 50,000. I think we're going lower. That's my personal opinion, never financial advice. And gas price is around sort of $8.44. And again, that's for a very basic transaction. Anything smart contract wise is going to cost a lot more. All right. What's done well then in the last 24 hours? We can see XRP's had a little bit of a move there. So well, hopefully that's not the one that's leading the charge, but it could be. Now, nah, there we go. IOXT, 8%. Gala having a nice move. Now, I do have a story about Gala, uh, something that I've bought and something that I will continue to buy. Uh, Ecomi, look, a couple of moves there, which, you know, again, any kind of any kind of gain is a good gain, but really for me, the 24 hours, it's got to be 15% plus for it to be a good gain. But again, it's not like I'd knock back 8% or 2%, any kind of gain, as I said. So we've got some movers there, no double digit gainers whatsoever, and that's kind of to be expected considering the market's down 4.7%. Uh, and again, unfortunately, I do think we are going lower. All right, what hasn't fared so well then, considering the market's down overall? There we go, Tezos down, Cadena down, Matic down, uh, quite a substantial move. But again, when the market's going down, you know, you can have the greatest project in the world. If everything's going down, it's going to go down as well. BitTorrent, Uniswap, so lots of double digit losses there, you know, 10s, 11s, 12s, percents. And then we get into the single digit losses and, you know, they're pretty high single digit losses as well. So things are not looking great at the moment. Doesn't mean it's the end of the world. Doesn't mean you, mean you need to go into panic stations unless, you know, you've got to do what's right by you. Don't simply, you know, do anything because it's what I'm doing or what I'm saying. You've got to make your own mind up. I'm just letting you know what I'm doing and I'm not panic selling anything at the moment. If anything, I plan to continue to buy. Just not throwing all my cash in just yet. All right, so here's the Bitcoin chart. And as I said, there's a gap down here between 32 and a half thousand and $34,500. And my gut feeling says that this is going to get covered. So I think we're going to come down into the 33s. I think it'll be some big crazy wick like this. And I think we're going to come down and look, again, this isn't exact. It doesn't mean this chart has to follow this. I just think this is the direction that we're going to go in. And look, we set another lower high. We keep setting them time and time again. Uh, it is a pattern at the moment. And you know, a lot of people are like, oh, well, this pattern's played out twice. It's going to play out a third time. No, it's not. Because these patterns don't last that long, particularly when the information gets out there on Twitter and YouTube and things like that. Then all of a sudden, the big players are going to change things up. But it is also environmental factors. And when I say environmental, I don't mean the weather. I mean the, you know, financial uh, environmental factors that's going on. So the thing that a lot of people are worried about is Bitcoin has dipped as China's Evergrande defaults. And look, this is affecting all markets at the moment. They owe $3.5 billion uh, you know, in repayments and they just can't do it at the moment. So that is really affecting the market. And it even says here, altcoin outperformance could fade. 100% it will fade. If we really do start to go into a bear market more than a bit of a dip, Bitcoin will lead the way. It will be the one that dumps the least. It's not to say it won't dump, but the altcoins, I mean, you've, you can already see, you know, we go back to here. Look at the dips. I mean, none of these are Bitcoin. Where do we have to go to find Bitcoin? Bitcoin's going to be way, way, way down. There we go. It lost 4% compared to, compared to most other things. And you had to go down to number 71 of uh, the top 100 uh, to find where that was in terms of losses. So again, most coins lost more than Bitcoin. So that's what you need to remember. All right, now let's go have a look at the SPX. And look, 
all markets are being affected by it now this was nearly a double top this almost got back up and again so we're now looking at the s p 500 starting to roll over so you know bitcoin is correlated no matter what anyone tries to tell you don't believe that though there's no real correlation there is a definite correlation all markets have a correlation that's what you need to remember there's rarely a market that isn't correlated and particularly if the s p 500 get hits gets hit hard that's the biggest sort of market in the world other markets just follow suit you can have outliers uh, you know it's the same as the crypto uh, chart that we or the market that we look at before every now and then there's, there's outliers but if we really are getting into some kind of global recession or something like that everything's getting hit there isn't a safe market you know other than maybe cash and we know that that's you know that's limited cash is you know unfortunately with the way system the system is set up at the moment cash is just trash in the long term in the short term i maybe a couple of months to you know a couple of years it might be all right but eventually they will simply start printing more money that is the only way the cash system works that's how governments get their money and i put out a tweet the other day uh, so go check my Twitter feed. Uh, I don't have it for this one. And it just basically, there's a senator, I think he's over in the States or Canada, I forget which one, uh, and he's asking all the other senators, where's all this money coming from? There's this $3.5 trillion bill being passed and not one senator can answer. Not one can provide any answer. And the only uh, senator that does speak, and he's part of the finance team, says, I'm not able to answer that question. Because no government wants to say that when all these trillions of dollars are, you know, are being put forward to solve all these problems, it's us. We're paying. That's who's paying. The working class. The rich will stay rich in this current system that we have. The poor will stay poor. And the working class will fund everything. It's, yeah, it's just the way the system is. So don't ever get confused. There might be periods where the printing... Uh, press slows down look maybe even stops for a period of time but it won't last it can't last it is just not the way the system is set up and as i said i believe cryptocurrency can help pay for you know the printing press uh, in the future but again that is why cash will only ever be good for day-to-day -day transactions and things it will never be good for a long-term hold while we have this current system anyway i'm getting off track again so yeah all the markets are down at the moment I mean, look even the dow jones same thing almost had a double top pumped up came down had a correction pumped up and we can see it looks like it's getting ready to roll over this is really a bit of indecision here now not quite as bad excuse me as the s p 500 we've got a roll over there and definitely not as bad as bitcoin we're having a big roll over here but they're all acting the same now here's one of the stories that is why I'm still worried that we're going to see more further downside. So there was a senator who mentioned uh, Moose Coin the other day uh, in his concerns about cryptocurrencies. Simply mentioned it, and that coin has ridden, risen by 80,000%. That's the stupid money that we have. People are chasing these kind of you know stupid things oh someone mentioned moose coin all right i'm getting in, in in on it and you know try to ride these gains and look some people will have rode those gains and done quite well but the majority of people are going to get wrecked in that coin unfortunately uh, again never financial advice that's my personal opinion but that's how it was i mean moose mongoose coin sorry it, it's it sounds like a meme coin i don't know maybe it actually does something but it just sounds stupid and the sheer mention of it by a senator or a representative you know, has shot it up 80,000%. I mean, that is, yeah, that's ridiculous. And that's why I think there's more downside to come. Now, there is good news, though. With this dip, MicroStrategy is out purchasing even more, bo more, more bore coin, I was going to say. Sorry, excuse me. More Bitcoin, because it's definitely not boring. And it now holds over 122,000 Bitcoin. I mean, that is monumental considering that micro strategy less than sort of two years ago about sort of 18 months ish ago they started to get into bitcoin and now i think they own like nearly one percent uh, of all the bitcoin out there so michael saylor holding strong uh, and he is buying the dip but the problem is you know we may dip 
further and a whole lot further. As I said, you know, we go back to this chart. I think we are definitely a chance of coming down and covering this. I think it'll be fast and quick if we come down to this point. I think we're more likely to come down to the $42,000 range. And then once we get to the $42,000 range, there'll be just some big sharp sell-off that'll come down, close that CME gap, and then I think we get a V-shaped recovery from there. But that's all based on nothing kind of drastic happening. No more, you know, kind of virus stuff that's going to affect the markets and, you know, maybe Evergrande fails and then something else really big fails and we have all these other big companies start to fail. Uh, and again, you know, the the Fed and that come out and say, oh, we're tapering, that's going to cause this uh, big shock. But as soon as they say they're tapering, S&P 500 will get hit. Dow Jones will get hit and they just can't have that because that is when they will have to start the printer press up. They're already starting to look at it right now. So that's what makes me think if we get something like this, it'll be very quick. It won't last too long. Now, again, I just need to re reiterate, that's never financial advice. That's just personal opinion. That's what I think is coming. I'm not 100% sold on it, but I just have a suspicion we're going to see something like this. But I still think in the sort of mid-term and definitely the long-term, cryptocurrencies are the future and they will continue to go up. So I'm going to continue to buy this dip. I'm just going to make sure I've got cash sitting on the side for in case we see something sort of flash. And, you know, again, Bitcoin at 36,000, that is, you know, sorry, 32, uh, 34,000, that is literally half price from where we were. 50% discount is buy time for me. That's not to say it couldn't go lower, but I'm happy to buy Bitcoin and sort of aggressively buy Bitcoin at 50% discounts. I will be putting a lot of money uh, into, not that I have a lot of cash sitting on the side, I've spent most of it, but my uh, DCAing will be a lot harder if Bitcoin is down in the 30s and below. I will be aggressively buying that. All right, Polygon are going to invest up to 250 Matic into Zero Tech. So uh, ZK roll-ups and things like that. So that turns out to be about $627.5 million. Now, the way they're going to do that is they have actually uh, merged with uh, Mira, Mia, I think it is how you say it. So they've actually, it's an acquisition of it, and it's part of a $1 billion commitment to developing zero technology uh, by Polygon. Now, Polygon, they... There's so much stuff going on. They're not just going into ZK rollups. They're going into optimistic rollups. That's coming as well. There's all sorts of things that are happening. And there's also talk that Polygon are going to change the ticker uh, from Matic because they were originally uh, Matic Network. Then they changed to Polygon, but their ticker for the coin is still Matic. And there's talk that they're going to change the name to something more Polygon-like. And again, we've got a conference coming up with Polygon soon and Vitalik Buterin is going to speak at it. I'm just, and again, this is uh, this is me taking a guess, but there might be something uh, sort of big, some kind of collaboration between Ethereum, the main chain, uh, and Polygon as opposed to just completely, uh, as uh, sorry, as opposed to Polygon being just a side chain. Now, again, I'm not basing that anything. That's just a sort of guess that I'm having and, yeah, it'll be interesting to see what happens. But we can have the greatest announcements being made, but if the whole market isn't a downturn, unfortunately it won't make a difference. At least, at least in the short term, you might have a short spike up, but then eventually it's going to correct uh, as the entire market is just on a downwards uh, sort of movement at the moment. Again, we, we just have to wait and see what happens in the, you know, the world environment of finances and things like that, because until that sorts itself out, Crypto is not going to uh, be any different. It will get hit like all markets. People will just go into cash. That's what people do. All right, WhatsApp. They are going to test the current uh, cryptocurrency payments using uh, Meta, Meta's, so Facebook's, Novi Wallet. So uh, that's interesting. So we'll have to wait and see, you know, I don't know about Facebook becoming Meta and going into the Metaverse and getting into crypto uh is going to save it. Facebook has been on the you know the decline for such a long time. Now they've got a lot of money, so they just come out and buy other things. I don't know Snapchat and whatever. I don't know if they bought Snapchat, but I think it was uh, Instagram or something like that. Like they just you know buy other companies outright. But that 
the amount of money that they're bringing in has really started to slow down and so that's why they've had to revamp it'll be interesting to see whether facebook now meta will be able to come the goliath that they were or whether their days are just simply numbered and whether this novi wallet you know kind of pays off because it you know, Facebook wanted to have their own stable coin and things like that, and that just kept getting knocked on the head. So my gut feeling is Facebook is probably, you know, we're seeing the last of it. I think within 10 years it might be gone. But, look, if this meta thing really takes off, then, you know, that may, I may be completely wrong about that. And, you know, I've been wrong before and I'll be wrong again. I'm not pretending like I know everything. Now, this I found interesting. Coinbase launches high interest DeFi yields to 70 countries. So there was a lot of talk from the SEC that they were going to really go after Coinbase for doing this. But we have that conference that uh, was happening, I think may even still be happening over in the States where senators and uh, De not DeFi, uh, cryptocurrency sort of leaders and experts and that have got together to sort of have a chat about how to go forward. And I just get the feeling like this is happening because it sounds like the SEC aren't going to try and, you know, be heavy handed. They know they need things like this. You know, people are going to get really jack of not being able to earn any interest. The banks can't provide any. DeFi can. So, yeah, we'll just have to wait and see. But this is interesting because the SEC were really going at Coinbase telling them you cannot launch anything like this. And now it looks like they are. So positive, excuse me, signs maybe. Now, last but not least. Gala, the gaming coin, is now the third most bought cryptocurrency by whales. So even though things are going down, whales are out there buying. And see, these are the things that I look at. I bought Gala at an all-time high. I didn't put too much money into it, so I'm not too worried that I've lost like nearly, you know, 30 40%. That's fine. I will continue to buy. The, the difference between the average retailer and the whales and things like that is they have a much longer time frame like they'll buy gala and again they're not throwing the kitchen sink at it at the moment they are doing what you know most people would tell you. they're going to scale in they're going to buy gala it's a you know 40 50 percent discount from where it was okay that's its old all-time high we put some money in now it gets back to there we double our money if it goes lower okay it's still a good project we're going to put some more money in now don't get me wrong they're not going to keep putting you know all their money in just following it all the way down if it's truly going down down but they've done their research they obviously like gala and so they're going to scale in you know they say they'll probably say something like all right we got a million dollars that we want to put into gala and this is me just making up a number but we're going to put in a third of it right now and then if it goes down a little bit more they say, all right, we're going to put in you know, another third of the million dollars. So now they've invested $600 million. And if it continues to go down from there, they may have to ask themselves, do we simply sell and get out because this continues to go down? Or are we happy to keep scaling in? Again, they've done their research and things like that. And so for me, that's what I'm doing. I like Gala Games. I like what they're about. I'll, you know, I watched an interview uh, with the one of the creators of Gala and I just like the program and what it was about and where they're kind of going. So I'm happy to put money in. And look, if Gala does go to zero, I won't have overcommitted and I'm not saying it is going to zero, but I'm just saying that's the way smart money gets in. I, you know, I've done a lot of you know, research on how they play the game basically. And so I'm just trying to emulate what they do except on a much smaller scale. And again, if Gala does go to zero and you know my money's lost, it's going to be a small percentage of what I've put in. The majority of my money that I have in cryptocurrencies is in Bitcoin and Ethereum. I'm pretty you know, confident in, I'm definitely confident in Bitcoin. Uh, Ethereum, we have to wait for Ethereum 2.0, but I'm, I'm, you know, I wouldn't say I'm 99% confident on Ethereum. We still have to wait and see, but it's definitely 90%. I think Ethereum is going to be around. So that is why I'd continue to put most of my money into those things. I put the bulk of my money that's in cryptocurrencies into Bitcoin and Ethereum. Now, Matic's definitely starting to make its way up. ADA's up there. I put a bit of money into those. Uh, and they're all projects that I think have really long-term, uh, yeah, they have longevity. And so that's why I put the most of my money into there. Uh, and they've risen so much. So now I don't put too much money into them. I'm focusing more on altcoins, but I do keep chipping away at them, particularly when there's dips like Ren right now. All right, that's it from me. Stay safe. Be kind to one another.
pretty hard to be on that gain train at the moment but if you are congratulations to you because you've outplayed the market and i do think we're going to see some more downside unfortunately but i think it will be short-lived and it'll be enough to shake everyone out and scare everyone and then we're just going to start to rock it back up but that's based on you know nothing kind of drastic happening in the entire sort of financial space all right i'll see you next time